What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay with a new video on Real Sports Talk, and I have breaking news. It has been officially, it is official that the Arizona Cardinals, you know, the team that really wasn't that good this year, but has a very promising young quarterback, Kyler Murray, just won rookie of the year, has traded away their best running back and one of the least top running backs, David Johnson, a 2020 second round pick and a 2021 fourth round pick for DeAndre Hawkins. The same DeAndre Hawkins that played for the Houston Texans is one of the top, if not the best receiver in the NFL, DeAndre Hawkins, and a 2021 fourth rounder. Now, then out of the way the details. First off, I didn't, I didn't, I don't understand this trade a lot. This trade is, is it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. One, because the Texans already had a running back, Carlos Hyde, and two, the Texans have been successful with D Hop and Deshaun, especially because of the fact that you know Deshaun finally has the number one receiver, and D Hop struggled because he didn't have a starting quarterback, and now he finally had you know Deshaun. So they had a nice little thing going with the one and the two. Now they weren't able to get over the hump, which I feel like even with a guy like David Johnson, I don't really feel like you're gonna get to that hump because I still feel like the biggest thing that they're missing right now is just the offensive line, one. And you know, but David Johnson is a top back in this league. No, he was not healthy this year. He wasn't healthy last year. But when he was healthy a couple of seasons ago, he was one of the best backs in football. And people, some can say that he was the best back in football, especially to, like all around back in terms of receiving the ball and catch, like receiving the ball, running, blocking. Like he was one of the best. So I understand that trade from this standpoint because you're getting a star running back. But it's risky because if you're the Texans, you trade away a guy who hasn't really been healthy and very productive last year for a guy who is consistently productive, consistently healthy this year. Like DeAndre Hawkins has been a multi-time, a multi-time Pro Bowler, and on top of that, he's been the best receiver. And last year, the man literally was just one of the best—not this last year, but the year before that—he was the best receiver in football and had the best year offensively as a wideout, hands down. And you trade him for a guy in the time of a David Johnson, who, in my opinion, I don't feel like he's in the. I don't feel like David Johnson is in the same ballpark right now as DeAndre Hopkins. Like DeAndre Hopkins, I see if you trade that for guy for like a Saquon Barkley or Ezekiel Elliott or or Derrick Henry or something like that. You trade him for D David Johnson, who yes, he's a great running back. Don't get me wrong. If he's healthy and he can be that productive guy, then of course this is a good trade for the he's uh for the Texans because you get that guy and you get a second round pick and you get a fourth rounder for the next year's draft. But you don't you don't know truly if he's gonna be healthy. Remind to remind everybody, King and Drake was the best running back on their team last year when he came in. Because of the fact that David Johnson wasn't consistently healthy, because of the fact that even when he was on the field, he wasn't that productive. So you coming you're talking about this is a risk, a big risk by the Texans. I I'm guessing they really need a running back because they weren't gonna be able to get, you know, they weren't gonna be able to re-sign Carlos High, so they get David Johnson. And they may be trying to, you know, getting the extra pick is, is is nice. But to trade away your best offensive player or your second best offensive player behind your quarterback, your quarterback's number one wide receiver for a running back who hasn't really proven to be on the same caliber as your wideout offensively in terms of impact, I feel like was a dumb move. And if I'm the Cardinals, hey, this is a great move for the Cardinals. You got rid of a running back who, like I said, is great, but has not been consistently productive. Yeah, you gave, around, gave away a second round pick, but your, you know, with your O-line not being as good as it's been in previous years, your quarterback needs a number one wide receiver. A, a wide receiver that he's gonna be able to consistently count on being open. I believe you're getting Larry Fitzgerald back next season. You have Andy Isabella, you have Hakeem Butler, and now you have DeAndre Hopkins, who is not only gonna get the benefit from being around a guy like Larry Fitzgerald, but it's also gonna help the offense because he's a receiver that you have to pay attention to, double team, he commands the defense, he commands the whole side of the defense, he's gonna be double teamed, he's gonna take away, he's gonna allow others to be open, and he's gonna give his quarterback a more easier, more comfortable time, and, and make it easier on the whole offense. And if you re-sign a guy like Ken Drake, 
you have a really good running back. Not great, not definitely not as great when healthy as the guy that you just traded, but you're still having a really good running back. So in my opinion, this is like this is a huge W for the Cardinals. I don't even think you can debate that fact. I mean they Clearly won this trade. Now the test is this a risky move. Could it work out? And could David Johnson come back healthy and be a top three running back? Because that's what he's gonna have to be, or he's gonna have to be able to match what is love from DeAndre Hopkins. There's gonna be guys on the team that's gonna have to step up. I'm pretty sure the test is gonna be our wide receiver in this draft. I wish I thought that they were gonna try to go for an offensive lineman. Another O-line to help out that O-line, but it looks like they're gonna have to go with wide receiver. They're gonna need a wide out because Will Fuller. And those guys, they're not good enough, in my opinion, to be no more wide receivers. This is a crazy trade. That's all I got to say on it. Peace.